Bitter cold settling in for a few days. That's triggering a warning from doctors about the real risk of getting frostbite. Mark Stewart live at Larimer Square, where you really need to bundle up, Mark. Mike, this is serious, and all night long we've been watching the valet parking attendants here on Larimer Square. They are layered up, and for good reason. Tonight, doctors telling us it takes just 10 minutes in weather conditions just like this to get frostbite, and hospitals across the city are anticipating the danger. Behind these doors is where some of the worst frostbite cases in Colorado are treated. This isn't the emergency room. This is the specialized burn unit at the University of Colorado Hospital in Aurora. The helipad is always on standby, ready to take in patients from across the state. Sometimes it's the guys up on the mountain whose uh, snowmobile or snowmobile breaks down and uh, they can't fix it. Dr. Gordon Lindbergh and his team typically help about six patients during a major cold snap like this. There were a lot of homeless people, a lot of people whose cars ran out of gas. The exposure from the elements can be devastating with some patients losing toes or a hand. Yet doctors are now using medication typically used to treat strokes to help with frostbite. He's trying to open up the veins and open up the arteries from the frozen tissue so we can restore circulation. While these extreme cases may be rare, doctors stress in severe cold like this, the damage can be done in just minutes. Every time we have a cold snap like this, there's always somebody who's been caught outside. And even though the sidewalks here are clear, doctors at University of Colorado Hospital tell us the emergency room has been busy today, dealing with people who've been injured from slipping on the snow and the ice. We're live at Larimer Square tonight. Mark Stewart, 7 News.